What's up everyone, welcome to episode 5 of the educational series. Today we're going to be doing some agility drills. I'm going to add in some reactive agility. It's also going to test our cardio. I'm also going to add in some passing drills and also some multi-directional work. Today we're going to be using Rugby Ram agility poles. They've also come with a base which you can use on a different surface that isn't grass, so on a AstroTurf or other surfaces. But anyway, let's get on to it. Okay, so for the first drill, we're going to be doing some snake runs. So we want to put these far apart. I'm using the five meter channel on a pitch. We're going to put them just a meter in from the line and around six to seven paces or meters between each pole. So also the reason why I'm angling, angling them in, as you can see, is because with them straight, as we run, we're going to hit our shoulder off them. If they're angled in, we can kind of, we can kind of like, not curl in, but lean in to the corner as we go around. So the reason why we're doing this is one, we need to practice our technique and two, we want to keep our efficiency. We want to keep our speed up to 100%, as close as we can to 100% whilst doing this. In the game, when you're weaving between players, if you slow down slightly just so you can perform this movement and the technique of the crossover, then um, a player's going to attack you, they're going to catch up to you. If you're a mile ahead and then you have to go around the player, he's going to catch up to you, tackle, maybe not a try or maybe whatever the circumstances are. So, set these out, do three sets total, go all the way through, walk back to the start, all the way through, remember your technique, get as close as you can to the pole and lean in and come round, and there we go, let's go. Okay, so with this we set up two poles on each about five or six meters apart also around four steps back so we're always passing backwards if you have four people this is ideal we only have two but uh we're doing what we can and all you got to do you take it up to the the pole before you meet the pole you make the pass the following guy does the same the same the same you do it run back around and you run again practice your passing your pass timing it's a very good drill give it a go drill this is a defender that's a defender that's a defender these are the defenders that's maybe the 9 and the 15 sweeping so you want to come in you want to step this guy when you come here you make a decision you want to step inside again you step outside again if you go outside you're done if you come back inside you want to again put some footwork in you go again the whole point of this exercise is to test your stepping skills so all the steps that you're too scared to try in a game try them out here if it goes wrong go back again figure out the technique so if you watch the videos you can break down what foot they jump off what foot they come off back inside you practice it here you practice you practice you practice then becomes a habit then becomes second nature and when you're in a game you have the confidence or you won't even think about it and you'll do the step so watch how i do it uh stepping inside and outside i'm not going to say i'm a stepping king but uh i try uh this is why we're practicing to learn the step um there's also a progression onto this drill uh which <coughs> i'll use my partner uh two progressions so have a watch. You're going to try on the right side then you're going to try on the left side test your pass a progression to this is your partner is going to come long or short he will say he can shout to you short or long or he can say nothing in a game you should talk not everyone talks so if he says short and he comes short line you need to look instead here we're we're stepping and we know where he's going to be all the time so you want to step and then here's call make the pop pass make the spin pass have a watch short short short
So for this drill, there's many progressions. So obviously we've got the guy coming short, or he's long, or you can decide where he's going. Usually it's always the support line who's gonna tell you where he is. So ideally we'll have the support line calling where he is. Uh, you've got to step in outside. You can do it with a ball. You can practice without a ball. You can come inside and practice your just out the back passes. Again, that's important in rugby. Okay, if you can master that skill like Sonny Bill, where he gives it like that, both sides as well. Great practicing. We've got the pot pass, we've got the spin pass. So this is agility work, multi-directional work, passing work, reactive agility work, stepping technique work. There's many, many bonuses to this drill. So really give it a go, see how you go. Okay, so for this drill, <coughs> we're gonna use from the 22 to the five meter line. What you're gonna do is gonna sit I do deduce with a partner, so you race each other, so it puts you under the pressures. One form of the technique and you, it makes you work harder, basically. So we're gonna set out three poles. The middle pole is where you're gonna run to, then you're gonna step to the orange poles, then we're gonna sprint across. You can either go around the first pole, or you can come to the first pole and perform a step, step back across. Then we're gonna finally come all the way across to the fat orange poles, hook around, run back to the start. Whoever finishes the line wins, Give yourself a few seconds and go again. So here we're practicing our multi-directional skills, perform under pressure, also under fatigue. Want to really keep the technique of getting around the pole and extending, getting low, extending up. And it's just great multi-directional work, which we all need to train in order to be a successful athlete or a better rugby player. So give it a go, see how it goes. So that's the end of the video. I've given you drills you can use by yourself, with your teammates, or you can run with your whole team. If you keep running them once or twice a week, you'll, after a period of time, you'll see an increase in your performance. So give it a go, let me know how you get on, and I'll see you on the next episode.